Hello again everybody, Elric Ferris and welcome to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the latest ION systems to hit the market. This is the new ASRock ION 330HT. This is a complete all-in-one system that contains everything inside. It has a DVD player, it has a 320 gigabyte hard drive, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and everything that you need to go. It has an HDMI out for watching movies, and this is actually probably one of the perfect little mini home theater systems that you're going to get. Follow along as we show you what's inside this box, what the product offers, and if it'll work well for you, the end user. Here we take a look at the specs for the all-new ASRock ION 330HT. As you can see, you get the unit itself, you get a power cable, you get the manual, you get a CD for all your drivers, and you get the remote control. What else does a guy need? Here we show you a shot of the rear I.O. As you can see, this is a fully fleshed out I.O. You have many connections to connect both your HDMI, USB, and audio. One thing to note, most mini systems these days don't have this exclusive of an audio. With this one, you get not only your 7.1 surround sound, you also get the option of using a good SPDIF cable for pure digital sound. Okay, in this segment of the video, we have the ASRock 330HT hooked up to my Samsung monitor. We have Windows 7 already pre-installed on it. It took about 15 minutes to install the Windows OS and the boot times are right around 35 to 40 seconds. Um, now that we've gotten the boot, we're going to show you a couple of features that come with this. One of this is the ASRock OC tuner. And the OC tuner is adjusted by the CPU frequency, as you can see right here. You just place your mouse over that. We'll go up to 145 right now, just for beginning, see if it blows the system up or not. Nope, as you can see, we have a successful CPU overclock. We're now running at 1738.37 uh, megahertz, which basically took the, the CPU from 1600 to almost 1800. We'll try and see if we can get a little bit more. I'll increase it up to 150, and we'll give it a shot again. So here we've got it almost up to 18. Let's click it one more time, do it again, we should be at 18. And there we go. I'm not going to really overclock the system very heavily due to the fact that inside of the unit there's not very much cooling. This is really just meant as a very small form factor, you know, audio entertainment system. So I would keep the overclocking to a minimum. In a system like this, you're not really doing gaming. And really only in gaming is where overclocking is really important. That and doing intense, you know, programs that, that actually can use the power of the CPU. This is just basically processing video. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the ASRock Instant Boot. This is supposed to be a utility that actually gets your system to boot in four seconds flat. Let's take a look at this and see what it actually does. We're going to click it into fast mode. We're going to hit apply. It's a little bit annoying being that you have to first shut down the system and then restart the system and able to get the Insta boot to work correctly. It also isn't really a true four second boot. It just basically puts the computer in sleep mode and then boots the computer back out of sleep mode. Um, I don't really think there's any great software. It's more or less almost like trying to trick the user. Okay, now let's go ahead and do it from scratch and let's see if it works. System has been turned on. Well, it does boot very fast from that, but the system's actually kept in the sleep mode. You're not actually getting a complete shutdown when using this. So if you really do want to shut your system completely down and not have just an hibernation mode, you need to disable the ASRock InstaBoot feature to do this. 
Okay, at this point in the review, we popped in the new Terminator movie, Salvation. We're just using strictly an HDMI cable, and as you can see, both the picture and the audio is very well produced. One of the really nice things about this, as you can see, compared to my TV, it's the standard area. This is a very small unit. Its foot shelf space is so small, it's barely noticeable. It's actually just bigger than a hardcover book. At the end of the day, all I can say is, wow, this is a very nifty product. It has great features, it's very small, and can replace any big bulky home entertainment system that you have now that you're using. The HDMI is great to hook up to any of the great big new monitors, and it has everything you need all in this box. I give this a solid thumbs up and an editor's choice product. Thank you.